Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Surviving Mars, Invent of India. Uh, now, um, where are we at here? Uh, we've got 61% uh, uh, atmosphere, 46% uh, temperature. That means that we're uh, not that far off of being able to open the domes. Uh, and uh, what I've been doing is uh, chasing the uh, workshop achievement or something like that. Uh, anyway, uh, so uh, basically it's just been a, a game of um, uh, finding stuff to do for our uh, um, uh, residents, uh, getting them uh, uh, ensconced in uh, living arrangements and whatever, and making sure that we don't run out of uh, resources. And uh, basically, I think we're in a situation where we're We've got that pretty much sorted. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, what I'm going to check here... Um, turn this off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll let the... Uh, uh, the... Um, uh, export not uh, continue so much. Uh, it'd be fun to get have this explode due to a lightning strike. Um, right. Uh, so we need to. So we've got plenty of food. Um, yeah, we got plenty of money. Uh, yeah. Uh, so when this gets to fifty percent, cold waves will end. Uh, and when this. Uh, we're already not getting dust storms, so yeah, uh, that's uh, that's kind of kind of good. Uh, but you know, basically, uh, it would take effort to lose. But I just want to play this up to uh, when we uh, manage to open the domes, and then I may play it uh, uh, just a little bit longer on, on my own time to uh, to get the. Um, uh, achievement possibly uh, but these um, workshops basically give your uh, they're a way to solve the unemployment uh, issue in the late game and uh, you know that's kind of what we're doing anyway uh, well we'll uh, just let this uh, run a bit here um, right so we got Plenty of power. Um, what are we researching? Um, compact hangers. Let's uh, go in here. Um, you know what? Let's uh, just bring the uh, wonders to the uh the top yeah um oh right uh we can go in here and uh we can you know outsource some what we should probably do is build um meteor um uh, zappers. But I'm not going to. You know, if we have the resources for it, um, uh, but by the time they got built, it'd be too late for this particular um, uh, incident, and we won't need them for much longer anyway. So... Right. Uh, well, I don't think there's going to be all that much to uh, 
to do here. Uh, so I'm pretty sure, um, just based on what we're seeing here, this is going to be the last uh, episode. Oh, here's our cold wave. Um, right, do I have uh, any uh, subsurface uh, heaters? I can't remember. Um, why can't I find them? Um, yeah, because naturally they're um, not located anywhere useful. Um, right. Um, long winter. Oh, bugger. Uh, right. Uh, okay. What we need is uh, power generation. Um, well, we're going to start uh, building a bunch of these. Uh, I should be building them over here, shouldn't I? Um, yeah. Well, uh, okay, we got a, a drone that's uh, doing its thing. Um, right. Okay, well, let's open. Well, we'll make sure we have our uh, plutonium cores. Um, right. Uh, those plutonium cores definitely uh, make the uh, sturdy generators far more um, useful. Uh, right, so then now we're uh, getting uh, 30 power per open... Uh, uh, per open... Um, uh, generator. So now we just need these to get uh, built. Right. Yeah, this cold wave is almost certainly gonna gonna come back um, and uh, I last for another three or four sols. Uh, the long winter one is kind of an annoying event. Um, okay, there's another one. Yeah, at this point, I'm not overly concerned about uh, population uh, collapse due to this event. Yeah, our generation daytime is down to minus 230, so... Uh, so that's definitely going to, uh, to help. Now here... Uh, we can uh, put a few more drones to work over there. That'll help. Yeah, there we go. A whole bunch more of those are going up.
Okay, so that's, uh, yeah, we're, uh, just about to the point where, uh, we're good now. Uh, right. Okay, now we're, uh, positive in the, uh, daytime. Well, that's a good name, Simon Starkiller. <laughs> Okay, so when those go up, yeah, we're, the power problem will be sorted out. Oh, yay, it's uh, just about... Uh, Just about done with those now. Uh, yeah, we're overnight and power generation's uh, positive. Long winter. Um, yeah. We'll let... Uh, it's not like we need the cash. Um, we're still outsourcing, yes? Yes. Um, okay, yeah. Okay, that one can open. That one can open. Yeah, this should, based on this, be the last cold wave. So, yep. Now, we might need another part to get to a uh, breathable atmosphere. Um, depending how many uh, setbacks we encounter like this. Well, look at the drone scurrying around there. <laughs> hey, okay, that's uh, the last one. Open that, upgrade them. Okay, so power should be fine for quite a while now. Uh, good. Um, ET Solar. <laughs> yeah, we're up to four souls on the cold wave. Um, yeah, it's going to uh, last a while. Uh, and that's fine. Uh, now I need to let the... Uh, uh, resources uh, uh, recover here. Uh, so, yeah. Now, I'm not going to build and build the subsurface heaters because we're not going to need them after the uh, uh, temperature here uh, goes up. Um, where are the GHG factories? Oh, there's a line of them here. Uh, we're getting how much? 0.65 per soul. So, uh, will the cold wave end when the uh, when this ticks over, or will it continue? That's a question I I always wondered. Is that? Oh yeah, that is connected. Okay. Juno orbit. Uh, what's our? Uh, yeah. 
Well, we've got uh, children coming up at least, so uh, so there's that. Long winter. Well, let's leave it to the doctors. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay, we're down to four souls. Um, yeah, that's ticking up. Yeah, this uh, long winter cold wave can seriously uh, hamper your game if you if it comes at the wrong time. Um, okay. <laughs> yep, it ended. Uh, okay. <laughs> As soon as the temperature ticked over, it ended the long win winter cold wave. Okay, uh, that's something I wondered. Now I know. And now we've got 1.3k power uh, <laughs> surplus. Um, right. Uh, okay, yeah, we're uh, we're doing okay there. Um, right. We're at 86% on. Uh, Interplanetary astronomy. What's um? Uh, interplanetary astronomy gives uh, Omega Telescope needs boatloads of electronics to build. That needs uh, right. Okay, so we'll probably be building the artificial sun first. Anyway, uh, yeah. So there was no point building the subsurface heater. Um, so we're good. Uh, So we're not going to encounter any more cold waves in this game. So that's one uh, uh, challenge removed. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so... Right, the cold wave will have impacted the uh, comfort levels and so on. So uh, there's that. Now let's uh, go and take a look at any projects. We could capture meteors, but we won't. Um, yeah, so let's just uh, take a look here. Um, contact. Are they willing? Nope. Uh, are they willing? Yeah, we'll take that. Are they willing? Nope. Okay. So that's, uh, that's that. Um, yeah, uh, we're, we're doing, uh, doing okay here. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got homeless people, really? Uh, right, okay. Uh, right. Well, uh, two thirds on uh, atmosphere. Uh, so how are these guys doing? Um, no. How are these guys doing? Uh, two percent per soul. Uh, right. Loss of one point one. Uh, capture ice asteroids. Okay, I uh, will send the expedition. Yep. Um, okay, I've got enough of those, maybe. Um, oh, I haven't researched the meteor defense guy. Okay, that's why. Um, so we'll capture ice asteroids. That will... Um, Okay, that's the uh, Omega Telescope, which uh, 
we can uh, obviously uh, build at some point. Uh, not just yet, I think. But if I was going to build it, where would I put it? We can place it down. Um, no. Wonders. Omega Telescope. That could... It's huge. Well... That's uneven terrain, apparently. Blocking objects there, apparently. It's all uneven terrain. Well, we can... Uh, well, we could drop it here. Yeah. Uh, we've got plenty of uh, everything but the electronics. But what we can do... We can go up here and do this. Because it's not like we have a space elevator or anything. Launch. That will give enough resources to uh, complete the space elevator. Or not the space elevator, the Omega Telescope. Yeah. Uh, okay, good. So that can uh, tick along. Uh, well, that, the resources can get there pretty quick. Uh, so that'll go up fairly quick. That'll give us uh, breakthroughs, I think, that we can research. But look at the drones scurrying around. Yeah, we're halfway there on the... Uh, on most of the resources. Um, it has to deliver the uh, electronics from a little further away. Those resource stacks are kind of uh, fun when they have random stuff in them. Uh, we're almost there with concrete. Uh, we're almost there with metals. We're there with metals. Uh, and we're there with the concrete. Well, one more delivery on it and we'll be there. There we go. Now it just needs to bring in all of the electronics. Uh, which they're doing. Yeah, we're more than halfway there on that now as well. Now, while I'm uh, staring at this, yeah, we'll uh, outsource some more. Yep. Uh, right. Yes, we'll need that uh, at some point as well, ultimately, uh, for a complete terraform. Uh, but we don't need to complete the terraforming to uh, to get the um, uh, breathable atmosphere and open the domes. This just needs to get to ninety. 95%. Uh, we can actually go in here and take a look. Um, okay, yeah, 80% meteor storms end. Um, breathables at 95. Um, toxic rains end at uh, 55 temperature as well. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Right, uh, so we're not there yet for toxic rains to end, but they uh, they will end, of course. 
Oh, we're up to 174 there now. Uh, another batch coming in. Uh, yeah. Oh, we have some planetary anomalies. What's this one? Uh, resources. Resources. Unknown. Uh, resources. Well, let's send an expedition to unknown. And we'll uh, go over here. That one will take drones. And eh, we'll send an expedition there too. Uh, well, if we've got rockets sitting around doing nothing, we might as well. Uh, right. Yep, okay, the projects are away. And this guy is going to start going up uh, real soon now. Nine more, eight more, yep. Ah, uh, we got uh, rare metals from the uh, the uh, anomaly there. Oasis. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, right. Okay, this is going to come online. And... There we go. Breakthrough text. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing exciting there. Okay. That, uh, that gets uh, one more thing uh, operational. Um, right. Oh, we need more polymers. Um, where's our uh, polymer uh, factory thingy? Um, yeah, where is it? Well, there's one. No. On, on, okay. Is there another one up here? Uh, on and on. Um, just the two? Yeah, just the two. Okay. Well, uh, I can go ahead and, uh, build another polymer factory. Uh, which I can stash. Right here, I think. Yep. There we go, it's coming online. Oh, we've completed microfusion, okay. Um, we'll uh, build that, build that, open uh, three shifts. Yep. Okay, now, uh, we've got another wonder here. Uh, there we go, that's a wonder. Artificial sun which we can just stash there. And we will uh, need to uh, bring water in. Uh, 
uh, we'll be able to take the water out once it uh, comes online. Uh, bring this uh, like that. Okay. Uh, that needs uh, stacks of polymers that we don't have. Uh, oh, I can land the rockets. I should do that. You land. You land. Uh, right. And we can go in here and we can bring in... A big stack of polymers. Launch. It's not that we couldn't, uh, you know, produce them ourselves. But, uh, you know... We get them faster this way. Uh, right, now I want to take a look here. Oh, we've got 20 drones on there already. So yeah, that should be fine. Uh, we got our delivery from the space elevator. Good. So that's, uh, that's building. Uh, we're up to 70% atmosphere. Um, yeah, there will be one more part on this, and I think that'll be it. Um, because it's not really terribly exciting anymore. Uh, that cold wave with the meteor storm was a little bit of excitement. Um, but, uh, you know, we get this guy online, that's a thousand power. Um, we get breathable atmosphere, we don't have to worry about moxies anymore. Um, we got no issue with uh, population, although... There is does seem to be a bit of a comfort issue. Um, although I could... Um, I could do something to uh, improve that. Like, I don't know. Um, I could draw... What's this do? <laughs> now we can build them just because we can. Um, uh, okay, here, uh, we can build a hanging gardens in here. Because we can, of course. Um, right, where's the artificial sun? Um, yeah, that's taking a little while, um, but that's fine. Uh, okay, so the Ice Asteroids uh, mission is uh, uh, just about done. It's completed, uh, so we could well get a uh, meteor storm out of that. Uh, right. Well, uh, and this is what? Compact hangars, right. Um... Well, that is uh, delivering uh, resources, so uh, that will go up uh, relatively quickly. Uh, they just take a lot of resources to build. Uh, that, you know, that's it's a wonder, right? Okay, that last rocket can land. Okay, we've got uh, the last batch of uh, sectors to explore. Um, Okay, that's compact hangars, so we'll just go in here, transportation, shuttle hubs, and we'll, uh, we'll just max out our, uh, shuttle hubs here um, back close that's going to suck up a bunch of uh, resources as well uh, but uh, it will get our uh, shuttle transportation load uh, sorted out uh, now if we look up here uh, was it uh, yeah we want uh... well anyway um... So if we go look in a hangar, yeah, we're, uh, <laughs> we need a lot of, uh, resources for those as well. Uh, 
But uh, as each shuttle comes online, we'll have uh, better transportation, so that'll be good. Uh, right. Now looking in here, yeah. Uh, now here, the average comfort should go up now. Um, anyway. Uh, I could micromanage all of that, but I don't think I need to. Okay, concrete's full here. Uh, yeah. So it's just a question of getting the metals and uh, polymers in. And we got this convoy coming in here. Well, what we can do here... Um, we can bring up another say 150 of those and 50 of those yeah yeah launch see that's where uh, this once you have the space elevator and mohole um, you just uh, you can't run out of resources unless you're not paying attention because you can export uh, rare metals from mohole and uh, buy whatever else you need. Um, right, okay. Now this here... Um, yeah, I'll let this, this part run until the artificial sun uh, uh, completes, and then we can watch it ignite. I'm not going to build the uh, solar panel farm that you would typically put around it. Although it is kind of fun to watch a bunch of little solar panels fa facing the artificial sun uh, all the way up around to this edge here. It adds another 20% to the power production, basically. Okay. Uh, what's not working? An art workshop lack of polymers probably um, right how do we have unemployed people um, whatever um, hmm well anyway uh, this here is uh, ticking along I could, well, okay, so it's, uh, it's just a shortage of resources being located there, okay, so that's what's slowing it down, it is transport, okay. Uh, but it is making progress. Meanwhile, the atmosphere is ticking along. Whoops. Right, okay, what's this here? Uh, right, uh, where are we uh, going here? Um, Well, hopefully, um, the, uh, oh, no more toxic rains. Uh, hopefully, um, the um, uh, music I can hear in the background doesn't come through loud enough to trigger a, uh, a copyright strike on here. But uh, anyway, um, here we go. Uh, this here is, uh, okay, metals are, are maxed. Uh, polymers are uh, coming in. Uh, we should have enough. Now, let's see. Uh, that's... Uh, 
let's see, 220, uh, right. Uh, no, where are we at here? Uh, more coming in. Uh, let's see. Oh, that should put it over. Yeah, that guy will put it over, and now we've just got it uh, uh, building. Okay. Okay, there come the drones to do their uh, worshipping to uh, build it. Uh, that that does kind of look uh, funny, doesn't it? Uh, right, okay, construction is uh, progressing. Just about done, and then we can watch it. Here we go. It's uh, starting to ignite. Uh, we've got. Uh, yeah, it takes, uh, what, 10, uh, 10 hours to uh, uh, suck up the, uh, the water it needs. Uh, once it does, it doesn't need the water anymore, unless it shuts down. Uh, so it's uh, it's going. Eight hundred. Nine hundred. And there we go, it's ignited. Okay, so there's the artificial sun. And now we have way too much excess power. Okay. Uh, Right. Uh, now, how's this? Uh, we're producing 45 now. Uh, it's still not enough. Uh, yeah, it's still not enough. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll uh, uh, go in here and we'll uh, chuck up another one. Uh, yeah. We've got, uh, you know, we've got enough fuel to cover it and water, so yeah. Uh, so that should uh, complete pretty quickly. Then, uh, again, with the, the upgrades and all shifts, there we go. Well, that should, uh, that should uh, normalize polymer production. The patient. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this. Okay. Uh, right. So, uh, that is going to be it for this time around. Um, uh, so, uh, I'm going, there will be one more, one more part in this. Uh, that should be enough to get us to, uh, uh, opening the domes. And, uh, once we can open the domes, I'm going to call it because after this, it's not particularly interesting. Uh, you'll just be what you just be watching, you know, just, uh, basically, uh, wait for a special project to come up, do special project, wait for special project to come up, do special project. Gets really boring. But I want to take this up to opening the domes, which I really consider to be the win point. Uh, when you're at a point where everything's sustainable enough that you can open your domes, um, you know, it's, uh, it's quite, uh, quite a good uh, point to get to. Um, Anyway, uh, so that's going to be all for this time. So stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And I'll see you back next week for what will probably be the final part of Inventive India. 
Uh, so, yeah, see you next time.